up, YouTube? It's uh, Dave Medic one uh, I've got a knife review for you today. Uh, kind of just unexpected. Uh, I was at Cabela's, and I was kind of shopping around or looking into getting a firearm. And, of course, you know, I had walked around the knife aisles like 500 times and looked in the case and asked to see a bunch of stuff or whatever. But anyway, long story short, um, I went ahead and picked up uh, a couple knives. Uh, my, review on, uh, my review is going to be on the Tension. Uh, 1490X by Kershaw. Uh, picked it up for 19.99. Supposedly, it's I think it is a Cabela's exclusive, so you're not going to really uh, find it anywhere else except maybe for eBay for about five dollars more and a slightly inflated price because of the availability on it. Um, pretty cool knife, 19.99. Like I said, let's go ahead and take a peek at it. Alright, now uh, the specs on this knife are, uh, of course, blade length is three and a quarter inches, the uh, handle length is four and a half, it's uh, four, uh, excuse me, seven and three quarter inches long, so it's a mid-size, uh, definitely right in your mid-size uh, EDC carry, um, probably around the size of, let's say, your persistence, I think, is about around that same size. Um, the blade steel, of course, is uh, it's overseas made, so you're going to be uh, uh, having the HCR 13 MOV, uh, and it is hollow ground satin finish. The handles are a textured G10. Uh, fit and finish on this knife are not too bad, uh, period, and even better for a 1999 knife. Uh, ergonomics, pretty good, uh, whether it be regular carry or regular grip or reverse grip. Uh, not too... I don't see any hot spots in it whatsoever. Your pocket clip, of course, is tip up, tip down, right hand carry. Left hand carry is only tip up. Uh, thumb stud. Uh, one of the things I wanted to go over on this. Um, all right, let's go over the, a couple things I like about this knife. Um, number one, uh, you know, quality for the price. Uh, Nineteen ninety nine. It's uh, good for. I mean, the quality is excellent. This is a knife you could purchase and use it for work, uh, and uh, go ahead and do what you like with it. Uh, the HCR 13 MOV, I really like the steel. Um, it may not retain an edge for all that long, uh, but you could bring it back no problem. Uh, it being a 1999 knife and the HCR 13 MOV, uh, you could practice your sharpening um, really easy. Uh, it's not too hard to mess up, uh, and if you do, you only spent 19.99 on it. Uh, but you could probably, no matter what happens, you can bring this blade back. Um, uh, another thing too, uh, a gift. <laughs> 19.99, awesome knife. Um, you know, you could give this to your kids, you know, your son's first knife, um, you know, whatever. Uh, one thing I do not like about this knife is, uh, one issues I have is, uh, the deployment on this is really, um, it, the action is smooth, uh, but the thing is, is with this thumb stud, it is located only a few millimeters from the scale, so actually getting your thumb in there, to deploy it is a pain in the ass. I mean, I do this half flick, and when I do get it, you know, and it's not because of the action or the fit and finish, because that's really good on this knife. It's just because this thumb stud is really hard to access. Um, if you notice, on a lot of your knives, right there where the thumb screw, uh, thumb stud is, is they taper back to G10. Uh, that way, you can get into the meat of that thumb stud. I mean, this thumb stud is ridged, but you can't really reach it because you don't have that tapered back. Um, I don't know why they wouldn't have done it. It's a simple fix. I don't think it has anything to do with the amount, uh, whether or not they would have to have charged more for it. And the reason why is I have myself here, I have a, myself a M-Tech Karambit. This knife is cheaper in price. You could probably purchase this cheaper than the, um, than the tension there. But even here, as you can see, the G10 is tapered back. So you can access A, the liner lock, and of course, B, thumb stud. No problem. Uh, so I don't think it is an issue. I just think it was just something that was overlooked. Um, but and not a deal breaker, um, especially if you're pretty handy or if you own a Dremel or even sandpaper. Uh, you can go ahead and taper that G10 back. 
um, and it should be fine. Um, that's the only issue I really find uh, with this knife. Um, you know, the lockup's nice, no play, left, right, up, or down. Um, and the G10 is, is, is not super aggressive, it's nice and mild. Uh, and all in all, pretty good, uh, pretty good knife. That's the only thing, though, that kind of bothered me because uh, flicking it open, I almost cut myself, like, just because I had it partially open, my thumb flipped up, and I did one of those grazes side, side of the blade, and, you know, Kershaw's out the box are so darn sharp. Um, I haven't even done a paper test, cut test on this, but I guarantee you this knife is, um, <coughs> excuse me, extremely sharp. You know what, let's go ahead and do it. Uh, limp piece of paper, or magazine paper, yeah. Like I said, I wasn't even worried about it. I own so many, you know, I own so many of these Kershaws, and that they've always come sharp out the box. So, but 19.99, uh, that's what you get. It's not a bad deal whatsoever. Unfortunately, the only place you can get them is Cabela's. Um, so if you have one close to you, you could pick one up. Uh, the cool thing is, too, is if they don't have it in stock in their store, you can call or order them online, and they'll deliver it to the Cabela's close to your house, and you can come pick it up. So. That's another uh, another good thing, but uh, yeah, not bad. Like I said, just taper back that G10 right that G10 right there, and you could access that uh, thumb stud no problem. I've actually seen one of these pimped already, and it looked pretty cool. Um, it's kind of it almost reminds me of my one ton that I just got rid of a little while ago. Um, probably everything it just it's you know because there's quite the blade is quite wide and. Um, it's it fits really good in your hands. It's actually kind of like a nice compromise from the one ton, uh, and one ton was a frame lock as opposed to a liner lock. So, uh, pretty cool. So that's pretty much my review on that. So if any of you guys have any questions, any comments, if you own the knife and maybe you have come across the same problem with the thumb stud, um, you let me know. Or if you guys have come up with a solution other than the one I came up with just now, um, let me know. I'm I am gonna. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna keep this knife not, or not. So I don't know if I'm going to go ahead and taper that G10 back. Um, because if I do get rid of it to somebody, um, they'd probably want it in brand new condition. And I'd probably want to give it to them in that condition also. Uh, but if I end up keeping it, I'll probably taper it back. Or who knows, maybe I'll just taper back and whatever. I don't know. Maybe I'm curious to see if that, that will work uh, to ease the deployment on this knife. So anyway, that's my review. Kershaw Tension Model 1490X. Uh, 19.99 at your Cabela's. Um, unfortunately, that's the only place you can get them besides eBay. But at eBay, I already looked them up. They're about, um, they're like 25 bucks plus shipping. So they jack you for about five bucks. I mean, you know, kind of sad. You know, someone went to Cabela's and bought a bunch of them, and they're making five bucks on each one. So, anyway, guys, thanks for tuning in. I really appreciate all your support and all your comments. Um, I do have another knife review coming, and I ha hopefully I'll have another real cool knife review on Monday. Maybe tomorrow. I'm not sure. I'm just trying to... I'll give you a little hint. It has something to do with this. See that? You guys know what that is, right? That's my clue on my little special deal coming in the mail. So, there you go. Some of you that I've talked to on the phone know already what the deal is. So, there you go, guys. Anyway, thanks for tuning in. Peace.